Building and operating a seaport container terminal is an endeavor that sits at the heart of global trade, a colossal feat of engineering, logistics, and coordination where goods from every corner of the world converge, are handled with precision, and sent seamlessly to their next destination. Let's explore what it takes to bring a world-class container terminal from blueprint to bustling hub, delving into its key components, how it's operated, the economic rationale behind its costs, and the many ways it generates revenue. The journey begins with the selection of the perfect site. Choosing a location isn't just about finding any stretch of coastline. The ideal site must offer deep water access. You see, allowing the largest shipping vessels on Earth to dock safely and efficiently. The terminal's location should position it conveniently via major global trade routes, which can capture significant shipping traffic. Equally important is its connection to the hinterland, the vast interior it will serve via robust road or rail links. Such connectivity ensures that once containers arrive, they can be whisked away to factories, warehouses, or directly to consumers with minimal delay. But the selection process isn't over until environmental and regulatory hurdles have been cleared. Any prospective terminal must pass rigorous assessments to demonstrate it won't unduly disrupt marine ecosystems or local communities. Compliance with environmental standards, zoning regulations, and port authority requirements can be the difference between a stalled project and one that sets global benchmarks for responsible development. With a location secured and plans approved, the focus shifts to physical infrastructure. The backbone of every container terminal is its berth, a reinforced stretch of waterfront where ships moor to load and unload cargo. Constructing the key wall, which forms the interface between land and sea, demands advanced engineering. It must be strong enough to anchor towering ship-to-shore cranes and withstand years of exposure to saltwater, waves, and the immense pressures exerted by vessels. Dredging is another critical component. To accommodate the enormous draft of modern container ships, the seafloor often requires excavation to deepen harbors and channels, ensuring safe passage regardless of tidal conditions. Dredged material is carefully managed to prevent ecological harm and to often reclaim land for terminal use. Stretching behind the quayside, the terminal yard provides acres upon acres for stacking, storing, and sorting containers. Here, efficiency is king. Every extra meter traveled by a container or crane represents time and money lost. Thus, layouts are meticulously designed for maximum throughput, with yards divided into blocks, lanes, and slots to minimize congestion and travel distance. Connectivity is extended into the terminal's road and rail links forming a multimodal chain that extends the terminal's reach far into the continent. Dedicated access roads and sometimes on-dock rail facilities enable direct transfer of containers, bypassing city traffic, and facilitating smooth logistics for shippers. On top of the core infrastructure comes the superstructure, the powerful machines and technology that bring the terminal to life, towering ship-to-shore gantry cranes, among the largest moving machines ever built, reach out across the water to lift containers off vessels with breathtaking speed and accuracy. In the yard, rubber-tired or rail-mounted gantry cranes shuffle containers into place, while reach stackers, forklifts, and tractors ensure they arrive exactly where needed. In the most advanced terminals, fleets of automated guided vehicles, AGVs, glide silently and safely, guided by software rather than a human driver. Supporting this ballet of steel and data is a nerve center of digital infrastructure. The Terminal Operating System, TOS, keeps real-time tabs on every container, truck, vessel, and crane. Dispatching tasks to equipment, tracking inventory, managing bookings, and generating detailed reports, the TOS brings order to what would otherwise be chaos. Utility systems, lighting, power supply, drainage, and firefighting networks provide essential services, ensuring both the productivity and safety of people and cargo alike. Beyond the whir of machines and the shimmer of steel, a modern container terminal is supported by a network of facilities, administrative buildings where schedules are planned and contracts are signed, customs, security, and immigration checkpoints, 
to ensure the legal and safe movement of goods, and workshops equipped to maintain and repair anything from heavy equipment to electronics. Each of these elements is carefully designed to support the core mission, the smooth, safe, and rapid movement of the world's cargo. Once built, the challenge shifts to efficiently running this complex, around-the-clock operation. At the core of daily activity is port operations, the art and science of scheduling ships, assigning berths, and orchestrating the ballet of container moves from ship to yard to hinterland. Each vessel arrival sets off a flurry of coordination as containers are rapidly unloaded, checked, sorted, and stacked, all while minimizing the costly layover time for ships. Load planning must account for each container's destination, whether it's bound for local consumption, export transshipment, or an overland journey to another country. The faster and more accurately this is managed, the more attractive the terminal becomes to global shipping lines. Logistics coordination extends far beyond the port gates. Terminal operators work closely with inland carriers, railways, and trucking companies to ensure containers flow seamlessly to and from the port. Customs clearance is increasingly integrated into this process, with digitized documentation and real-time tracking to accelerate processing. Terminals often operate complex appointment and pre-notification systems, allowing trucks to arrive at precise times to avoid gridlock and optimize throughput. Behind the scenes, maintenance is a constant priority. Berths, cranes, vehicles, and safety systems are subject to continuous wear and must be inspected, serviced, and upgraded in a relentless cycle. Preventive maintenance keeps equipment reliable and prevents costly downtime, while skilled technicians are always on call to address breakdowns and emergencies. This massive infrastructure and non-stop operation come at a steep price. Initial land acquisition and site preparation alone can range from tens to hundreds of millions of dollars, costs driven by local real estate prices, the need for extensive remediation, and the scale required. Dredging and marine works necessary to tailor the seafloor for massive ships can easily add another hundred million or more, compounded by environmental mitigation expenses. Quay construction, core to the terminal's capacity, is priced by the meter and can cost anywhere from one to five thousand dollars per linear meter, depending on technical requirements and market conditions. Major cranes, some of the most expensive pieces of equipment, range from eight to fifteen million dollars each and a modern terminal may require several just to keep up with anticipated traffic. The yard is populated with a fleet of specialized equipment, reach stackers, trailers, forklifts, each with its own additional multi-million dollar price tag. Investing in automation, such as AGVs or automated stacking cranes, can raise capital outlays, but can pay off in dramatically higher throughput and lower long-term labor costs. Supporting all of this is a network of buildings and systems administrative offices, security checkpoints, customs facilities, workshops, and extensive utilities. These can absorb another 20 to 100 million or more, depending on local conditions and the level of integration or support services needed. And then comes the digital backbone, the terminal operating system. While the software itself can cost from 5 to 20 million dollars, the operational effectiveness it enables is priceless, streamlining everything from move orders to billing. In aggregate, the capital cost of turning an empty stretch of coastline into a state-of-the-art container terminal ranges from the hundreds of millions for smaller facilities to well over $2 billion for the world's premier mega-terminals. The size and automation level, local labor and material costs, and regulatory environment all play significant roles in ultimate cost. With such heavy capital investment, operators must be careful stewards of operational and maintenance expenses, typically budgeting 5 to 10 percent of capital cost per year just to keep systems running at peak efficiency. Yet the rewards can be substantial. Once operational, the terminal generates revenue through many streams. Terminal handling charges, the fees shipping lines pay for loading or unloading each container, form the backbone of income. Additional revenue flows from container storage fees, paid when containers await pickup longer than a set window, berthing fees, charged to vessels for the use of terminal docks and equipment, reefer electricity charges for the specialized power services required by refrigerated containers, and leasing of space to logistics providers, domestic carriers, 
and even retail or warehouse tenants who value close proximity to the flow of goods. A successful terminal offers value not only through location and efficiency, but through world-class safety, reliability, and innovation in services. By optimizing each link in the value chain, from vessel scheduling to last-mile logistics, terminal operators help drive down the cost of global trade and enable economies to thrive. In today's interconnected world, container terminals are much more than just physical infrastructure. They are high-tech logistics nerve centers, economic engines, and sometimes symbols of national pride. The path from site selection to ongoing operations is long and expensive, and success depends on visionary planning, flawless execution, and constant adaptation to the ever-changing tides of global commerce. Every container, every crane movement, every handshake between a software dispatch and a truck at the gate represents the sum of countless decisions and billions invested, all to ensure that goods move smoothly and the world stays connected. Building and operating a port terminal is among the most challenging and impactful projects anyone can undertake. For those who succeed, the payoff is measured not just in profits, but in the vital role these terminals play in shaping global economies and everyday lives. Across the globe, the seamless movement of goods owes much to the expertise of top B-Out seaport terminal operators. These companies manage some of the world's busiest ports through build-operate transfer agreements, investing in modernization and innovation to power global trade. Industry leaders like PSA International, Hutchison Ports, APM Terminals, DP World, and major Chinese operators continually set new benchmarks by implementing advanced technologies and efficient processes. Their global reach, forward-thinking approaches, and long-term partnerships help drive connectivity and economic growth, ensuring that our ports remain vital gateways for commerce, linking regions, and enabling the flow of trade worldwide.